to take on the politics of all of this because mm -hmm. the new comments, Fred, came after President Trump as recently as yesterday in a Washington Post interview really went after the Fed chairman. So he's not even a little bit happy with yeah. the guy that he <laughs> appointed. So what's your best guess? Was Jay Powell kind of bullied into this uh, concession today of sorts? Or? Well, I'm not sure how big a concession of it is, but he yeah. changed his tone some. I mean, at least tonally, it, it was a concession. Uh, but, you know, Trump is, uh, is speaking very tough. You know, one thing I actually like about this, you know, when Trump's yelling at people like some congressman or somebody, you know, Mia Love, who was defeated in Utah and so on, that, that seems uh, unfortunate. On the other hand, going after the Fed, president's been doing that for decades. And so we've had a correction. Uh, stocks have gone down, and the president doesn't like it. He's not taking the blame. Some he, have he, argued he, it's he, different, Fred, this time because of the way he's done it and that it somehow endangers or questions the independence of the, the Federal Reserve. You don't see it that way? No, not at all. That's nonsense. The Fed can, <laughs> the Fed can handle itself, and and I think the Fed will. Uh, I mean, they can change their tone some, and it and it sounds better. And look, for the last three days, there have been two. Uh, I mean, today's a good example of what of where the market is, of what it's doing now. It's really uh, booming, and and was pretty good yesterday. It was booming last Friday. So uh, yeah. maybe Tom, maybe Trump will back off. Well, yeah, maybe. Um, well, he's got other people to feed with, to your point. And uh, as we look at this, Fred, the meeting coming up over the weekend with Xi Jinping yeah. of China, that's one of the people he's been going back and forth with. And they'll mm -hmm. sit down Saturday night in Buenos Aires. They're supposed to have dinner. Mm -hmm. And that's different. It's, you know, that's not Jay Powell versus Donald Trump. This is a completely different culture. There's a lot on the line here in terms of trade. Mm -hmm. How do you think the president handles this one? Because if he walks away, by the way, with absolutely nothing this weekend, to our earlier point, that market rally we had today could disappear very quickly. So Yeah, I, I think it would yeah. uh, uh, disappear. I mean, there's great expectation here, uh, and, and, and particularly uh, you know, before we've had this rally in the market uh, today and, and over the last several days. Uh, I mean, Trump need, <laughs> I think Trump <laughs> needs uh, some kind of a deal with the Chinese. I talked to one of his economic advisors just a couple days ago, yeah. and they don't know what the Chinese are going to do. The Chinese, they don't, they don't have everybody leaking to the press all the time, and uh, it's a completely different situation. The Chinese will just not respond to things. But uh, I, I think the one thing that uh, Trump has done well over the last months has been to isolate China, uh, to really separate them from everybody else. They're the people who are the trade problem in the entire world. And, you know, an awful lot of other countries agree with Trump on this. It, right. It, but is there a way to kind of hammer them, but also make people realize that you're making progress towards a deal? Like not, so, you know, you know what I mean, Fred? You're not going to solve everything this weekend, but you tell you can send a signal we're on the way, but we're not going to go easy. I mean, that is a difficult balance. It is difficult. I mean, one of the signals would be, look, we're going to hold off on these tariffs, these really large tariffs that we were going to impose on China because we need to do some real serious negotiation negotiating about an overall trade deal. Uh, and right. that would, I think, uh, make people think, and probably correctly, that uh, uh, this is a wise thing to do, and maybe there's been more movement toward the big deal uh, than we know. I agree with you. I think that would be a, kind of enough for now, just to yeah. give a signal. Good to see you, Fred. Uh, we'll like talk to you soon.